If you're a teacher or a trainer and you want to learn how to use Kahoot and you'd like to start with the free account, then this is the video for you. I'm going to take you through the four key things, quickly how to create an account, how to discover car hoots that are already made that you can use and then we'll play one so you instantly see the quickest way of actually getting started with car hoot and then i'll come back after playing the game and show you how to make your own car hoot really hope you like the video and as always if you do please like it please share it please comment on it and of course join me on my youtube channel i'd love to have more people subscribe to the channel. Make use of the menu system as well if you want to jump to a particular part of the video. Let's get started. Now in a minute I'm going to show you how to log in and actually create your first game but I just want to point out that what you get for free does vary depend on, depending on how you log in. So for example if I click on home so if you were using it for example for home use and i click on available plans then you'll notice if we scroll down that the basic plan that's for free is just 10 members however if i click back and if i log in from a school account and come down to the plans and pricing notice now that the free account seems to be offering 40 participants so I think that must be associated with logging in from a school in America I'm not exactly sure certainly my account the one that I'm using limits me to 10 participants so if you haven't got an account the button that you want to click on is start for free and you will need to just go through a couple of questions so I'm a teacher uh, I work in, for example, I work in higher education and then you can either log in with your Gmail account or create an account. Now I'm going to log in with my Gmail account, it just makes it a lot easier. In fact, Kahoot are offering me an even better deal, but I'm going to close that down because I'm using the free tool. The quickest way to start with Kahoot is to use activities that have already been created by other teachers and there are literally millions and all the free ones are available to you on the free account so just come over here and click on discover and what i would suggest you do is that you use this search term here so i'm going to look for english language present simple i'm going to click on this button here and it's going to show me all of the free games that I can immediately play with my students. So what I'm going to do now is just show you what you need to do. If you obviously see a game, you can see how many questions it's got. You can see that it's free. And let's just choose one here. Let's say, for example, go for this one here. If I click on this one, I can have a quick look at what it looks like. Now, one thing I do suggest is you click on this show answers because that way, when you look at the game, you can see what the answers are. If you turn that off, you'll notice that the answers don't appear. But show answers, so this shows very clearly what the answers are. Now, one very important thing to keep in mind is that you can't edit a game that has been made by someone else. And so if you went to edit this game, unfortunately, what's going to happen is it's going to tell you that you need to duplicate and make a copy of the game first. And if we click on that button, it's going to actually ask us to sign up. So you don't have the option to duplicate. And that is something you might want to keep in consideration, because if you look through the game and there's a mistake, I'm afraid there's nothing that you can do about it. So let's imagine that we're happy with this game. We can see that it's quite popular. It's been played 233 times. If I want to play this game now, I will click here on host live and we can play the game immediately. So we click on this button here. It's going to open up a window. Now, how do we get our students to join and play? Let's click on the start button and I'll take you through the process. So it says get ready loading pin number and it's now got a pin number. Now your students, all they would need to do if they got their telephones, they will need first of all to simply point at the QR code and that way they can access the game and that's exactly what I'm going to do in a minute. Now if your students don't have their telephones and they're going to be logging in with a computer then an alternative or with a tab uh, with a tablet for example an alternative is that they go to kahoot.it and they simply write the pin number in of the game 
So in our case, the number is 4265161. So if I jump back and I just write that in, 4265161, and hopefully that will allow me to enter. And normally what he's gonna do is gonna ask for my name. So I'm gonna put in Russell Online and click Go, and I've now joined. Now, I'm waiting, of course, for the game to start the game hasn't started yet if we come back the teacher will now see that one person has logged in now what i'm going to do is also logging on my telephone so that i'll be logged in twice so now we've got two students logged into the game and the students are waiting for the game to start when the students log in with a qr code they simply point their telephone click on the button write in their names and they're in and ready. So the next thing for us to do is to click on the start button and start to play the game. Just a super quick break from the video. If you do like what you're seeing and you want more free videos, then come over to my website, teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in making videos to show teachers and students how to use technology in their language teaching and their language learning. And there's loads of content on the website. Also, if you're a language teacher, think about signing up to the newsletter as well as getting updated on all the latest videos. There's a free 14 part course where I basically highlight some of the key technologies that we're using in language teaching. And many of the tools that I highlight are completely free. Also, if you were interested in having more training with me, then join me on Patreon. You get free videos every month with no advertising and you get the chance to meet me online as well for an hour's training. We do an hour's training every month with the Patreon group where we actually work with the technology so you really learn to use them well. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. So let's start the game. So I click on this button here. The game starts. Remember, you need to project the questions onto the wall or onto a screen so that the students can actually see the questions. So for example, here they've got four choices. Now they need to be able to see the questions because what they see on their screen is slightly different and I'm just gonna quickly show you what they see. This is what they see, so they need to click on and put an answer in and they've been told that it's incorrect and now the next question will come onto the screen. So, how does the next question come onto the screen? Well, the teacher needs to click on the next button and click on the next, and then they get the update of the score, click next again, and now the next question will come onto the screen. And if we jump back and look at what the student is gonna see, watch this, suddenly now the student's only got two options. Again, they would click on it, the other student would also click, and if we come back now and look at the, what the teacher is seeing, the teacher sees right, there's been two answers, and one student got it wrong, and one student got it right, so it kind of updates you. Remember, you need to click here to see the league table, and click again to the next question. So remember, between questions, you always need to click twice. Once uh, is simply when the students, once the students have answered the question, then the teacher will need to, once they've seen this table here, the teacher will need to click once to quickly update on the league table. We got Russell at the moment winning and the other Russell's not doing anything. And then click again to go to the next question. And that is the way the games work. Now, if you want to end the game at any time, then click on this button here. And if you scroll down, you can end the game now and it will kind of give you an update on who's won and who comes second. Now I've just set up another game just to make this a lot quicker. So there's only going to be one winner and that's going to be myself. Uh, but if there was obviously more players playing, you would see the top three winners. Then notice that you will get some options here on the right hand side you get a session summary you get feedback or you can play again or find a new kahoot okay really hope you're finding the video useful and if you are please click on the like button uh, because it really helps to boost my rankings on on youtube uh, i'm going to show you now how to actually edit and make your own kahoots 
but just one thing, a lot of teachers really like Blookit. It's a very similar tool. It gives away more for free, so you get a lot more for free than you do with Kahoot. And it works in a slightly different way, though it's very, very similar. If you want to learn to use Blookit, watch the video that's on the screen now. I think you might find it interesting. Let's learn now how to edit and make our own Kahoots. Now, to create your own, you need to come over here and click on Create. And we're gonna go for the short interactive lessons with polls and quizzes. And we're gonna choose a blank canvas. Now notice that you do get the option to use for free some of the AI assisted options. I don't know how many times you get that. Perhaps I'll make another video on that topic. But if we click here, click on blank canvas, then we can actually generate our own questions. Now I'm gonna just generate three questions and I'm just gonna show you exactly how you do that. So I'm gonna click here and add my first question. What is the capital of London? Sorry, of England, <laughs> of England. And then I'm gonna write in my four answers. So I'm gonna put Madrid, I'm gonna put Paris, I'm going to put London and I'm going to put Moscow. Now, one thing very important is that I do need to say which is the correct answer. So I'm going to click on that one now. now there's a few ways to add a new question. One obvious way, if you're going to do the same type of questions, just click on duplicate and you now have a second question. And I'm going to change this one to what is the capital of France? Okay, and in this case, I'm going to change this to Paris and I could even just turn that off and that one I don't want on. So now that one's not selected and now we've got a new question. Now, another way to add a question is, and you can edit the question as well, but by the way, is click here on add and just choose one. So I'm going to double click on this one here, quiz, and it's now going to add me my third question. I can again, just write the question in. So I've put in my questions, going to obviously put the right answer and I've missed out a J there, Beijing, and then I'm going to click here. Now, I'm quite happy with all these settings, the time limit for each question, everything's ready. And now I'm going to save that. I need to give it a title. So very important to actually give it a title. So click here. In fact, I think you click on settings and give your, uh, so I'm going to call this capital cities. And we're just going to say, learn the capital cities of the world. We're going to make this public. I think that's the only choice that we get. And we should all be done now. Everything's ready. The language is going to be English. Click on done and we're ready to go. We'll save that and we're now ready to play. Click on host. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget if you want to come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, loads of videos for language teachers. There's a special AI section that's very popular. Don't forget if you sign up to the newsletter, you get that free 14 part video course where I show you some of the key technologies in language teaching. I send you a video about every three or four days and nearly everything I show you is free. You can also join me on Patreon if you would like more training with me and to meet me once a month on Patreon, then you can click on here and get more information about that. Uh, that's $6 a month. And then finally, I have a very popular course. It's called Technologies and Approaches to Blended Hybrid and Online Teaching. That is in collaboration with Nile, the Norwich Institute of Language Education. You can click to get more information here. We run that course about three or four times a year. It's very popular. And thank you very much.